Yeah, buddy. Here's part three of the really easy beast mode and ritual guide on Doobie's hot box. Parts one and two will be linked down in the description below. In part two, we showed you everything you needed to do the beast mode, get the ritual completed, and kill the Magoir. From there, we took the train all the way to the Footlight District to complete our third ritual. When doing the beast mode in the Footlight District, it is possible to get it all done in one take, but it is a bit of a push. So I'll show you a safer, guaranteed ritual way of doing it as well. Once you've got off the train and made your way down the stairs, the beast mode statue is in the middle of the car park. As soon as you turn into the beast, you want to look up straight away above the burlesque sign and use R2 to grapple up to the side of the building. As your beast mode is going towards the grapple hook, you want to turn around and look down and be ready to spark on the power switch that opens the club as soon as possible using L2. From there, really quickly peek to the left once you know it's on and use R2 to grapple over to the other side. Once you've landed on the other side, there is a little staircase on the left. If you head down it and run all the way through to this little staircase on the right, you can use L2 to power up and activate the stair gate. On your way back up the stairs, use L2 really quickly to switch on the perk machine. And then to get your third ritual piece, you need to take a run and jump at this ramp in the corner over to the ledge on the building opposite. Then you can melee the box to get your third ritual piece. From there, really quickly drop down to the left and you can smash the Cthulhu statue, which you will have to place your egg in later to get the sword on Shadows of Evil. Once you've done that, you can head back a little bit and then make your way left up into the alleyway to melee the rift door. I would suggest doing this over getting the statue as it makes it easy to get to the footlight district without having to open the gate in the junction. Really quickly, here is the safe version of beast mode in the footlight. Starting off at the burlesque, you grapple up to the side of the building, really quickly switch on the power and then look to the left to grapple across the car park. From there you can go down the left of the stairs, straight on zap the stair gate, zap on the perk machine, run and jump over to get your melee piece and instead turn behind you to the left to get the ritual door. If you don't think you're going to get it all in one take, yeah. I would suggest doing like that. Like that. After doing the beast mode you can buy the gate for 12.50, go and collect your ritual piece and again like every other ritual piece so far. The keepers will spawn in. Two shots and stab for the best points. From there you can make your way up the stairs. Grab a quick 100 points by laying in front of the perk machine and also pick up a shield piece, which I will explain in more detail in another video. Run down and open up the rift door by holding square. This makes it really easy and free to get back to the footlight district, but it can also be easy to forget. So don't forget because it will save you a thousand points opening the main gate to the footlight district. Now that you've got your ritual piece you can head to the burlesque. Place your ritual piece on the table by holding square and then hold square to let the ritual begin. Try to get as many points as you can on the keepers. And as we've nearly done all the rituals in the first two rounds I'll just kill them with the RK5 and stay safe. As you can see, we've got no quick revive. Once the ritual is completed, you can grab your gate worm and then make your way back to the train. Stay tuned for our next video on Doobie's Hotbox, where I'll be showing you our fourth ritual in the Canal District. Yeah, buddy.